In today's video, we are kicking off a three-part series on building a budget crypto mining rig for $500. We are gonna dive into shopping for hardware, planning out our build, building the rig, and finally following along the profitability. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at Crypti.co. This video would not be possible without their support. If you're looking for some of the best crypto mining merchandise and apparel in the industry, go over and check them out at Crypti.co. They have 24 different types of cryptocurrency apparel, this being one of them, which is our HODL Litecoin t-shirt. Go over and check them out. And while you're over at Crypti.co, save yourself 10% using the code the hobbyist miner. All right, let's go ahead and dive into today's sponsored video. What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So as mentioned previously, this will be a three part series. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on shopping for our crypto mining rig parts. So let's set the stage. You've been hearing a lot about cryptocurrency and crypto mining in the news or with your friends, and you're interested in taking that first step into crypto mining and joining in, but you're not really sure what to do. You're not really sure what parts to purchase, and you don't have a ton of money to invest, but you at least want to get started. Today's video is for you. So in today's video, we are going to be working with a budget of $500. So let's go ahead and get started shopping. Alrighty miners, so let's go over what we're going to be shopping for today. So we're gonna be looking for a GPU mining frame. We're gonna be looking for a motherboard, a CPU, memory, power supply, some type of USB drive or solid state drive for our HiveOS operating system, GPU risers, and one graphics card. We're doing one graphics card to get started because as I mentioned at the top of the video, we are we are acting as an individual which is unsure if we wanna to get totally committed into crypto mining. So we're just gonna go ahead and spend $500 to get started. And if it's profitable, we'll consider adding cards to our rig as time goes on or as we come across some uh, extra cash that we can spend on an additional graphics card. Okay, so where are we shopping today? So we're gonna be looking at Newegg, we're going to be looking at Amazon. We're going to be looking at Best Buy, Micro Center, eBay, Newegg Refurbished, Alibaba, and other places like Facebook Marketplace and Offers Up. So let me go ahead and get lost in the internet shopping for our parts. And when I come back, we're going to go ahead and go through our entire shopping cart as to what we're going to be purchasing today. Okay, so shopping is over. Let's go ahead and go through exactly what I purchased. Uh, I was able to go ahead and get all my purchases on Amazon and Facebook Marketplace locally. So let's go ahead and start from the top down uh, and review exactly what I purchased. Uh, I can show you most of the links. Uh, the ones I can't show you directly are the Facebook Marketplace ones, um, only because of the fact that it's like a one-off and it shows exactly where I'm located. Uh, but I'll at least show you the parts that I've gotten for that. So first off, a mining frame. So I went ahead and you might be able to find some of these locally on Facebook Marketplace or offers up, but I went ahead and got mine off of Amazon for $39.99. And here's the exact one I got. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing fancy. It's super cheap when it comes to the material, but it'll do the job. $39.99, it'll fit six to eight GPUs within my budget that I'm looking at. I'm not gonna be looking at much larger GPUs uh, and some of these like 3000 series cards and stuff. So they're gonna be significantly smaller GPUs. So I'm okay with fitting it on this frame. So $39.99 right off of Amazon. Uh, and going to our next item on our list, let's talk about this one because this was a steal that I found. I found a motherboard, a CPU, and a single stick of memory for $150 on Facebook Marketplace. I'm telling you guys, look locally you can find some gems so the motherboard is the azrock z97x now if we take a closer look at this motherboard here if you can kind of see from the picture it has one two three four five six total pci slots on it which is awesome everything else isn't really a big deal 
Uh, I'll show you the CPU that we did up getting with it as well as our memory. The CPU that we got, this is not the exact one like this listing off of Amazon because I got it as a combo on Facebook Marketplace, but it was the Intel Core i5 4690K, complete overkill for what I need it for. Here it is right off of Amazon uh, if you wanted to try to nab it. It's actually straight from the Intel store, uh, but I ended up getting mine with the combo deal. Now that is a uh, LGA socket 1150. So keep that in mind because that's going to be important because you got to make sure things are compatible. Finally, for my memory, I ended up with that motherboard combo and that CPU the person was selling. I got a PNY 8 gigabyte DDR3 1600 megahertz memory. Perfect. Eight gigabytes is complete overkill for what we need. You can get away with four for mining and it'll do the job great with Hive OS. So that handles frame, motherboard, CPU, and memory. Jumping on, we needed a CPU cooler. So I went ahead and found one. Um, Arctic is a very well-known brand. I have uh, several of their coolers. And I went ahead and went with the Arctic Alpine 12. This is a small CPU cooler. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. It just needs to do the job. And this runs for $12.99 off Amazon. Now, we need a hard drive. We need something to put Hive OS on. And as I talked about, remember going into this, you can't have this elitist mentality, this big GPU mining mentality. You have to remember, our mindset and our goal for this video is to step into the crypto mining scene. So we're just stepping in. We're not even sure if we're fully committed yet. That's why our budget was $500. So with that in mind, we're not going to go with a solid state drive. We're going to go with a USB drive because of cost. For $6.80, I can get a SanDisk 16 gigabyte USB drive right off of Amazon. So that's exactly what we went with. We went with this simple one. SanDisk is a good brand. And remember, if I end up loving mining and I end up moving forward with it, I'll definitely spend the money on other items to expand my farm and my, my, my GPU mining rig. But right now we have to remember, this is a miner that is just stepping into the space and a little unsure if they're fully going to commit, especially financially. So jumping on from there, we only need one GPU riser. And that is something that I looked at to save me some money on this build. I just got under $500 with one GPU riser, but I wanted to talk about exactly the riser that we went with. So on Amazon, I was able to find individual GPU risers versus having to buy like a six pack. And I checked for a few things and why I went with this riser. So I've never purchased from this vendor before, but some things I looked at was it has two, four, six, eight capacitors. Okay. So that, that checks out off the list for things it needs. It has led indicators on it and it has a reinforced PCI slot. In addition to that, it doesn't have SATA or anything like that, but it does, which I don't want but it does have uh, a, a PCI for power. Perfect, exactly what I need for one riser. As I said previously, if I'm gonna fully commit to mining moving forward and I found that I enjoy this and that's profitable, then of course I'll end up having to buy more GPU risers or a better well-known brand. But for now we went with one riser because that's all we need. So now let's talk about our graphics card. So I ended up getting a MSI GTX 1660 Ti overclock. Now that's a six gig graphics card. Definitely off the of Facebook marketplace for this build. I searched far and wide for different cards that I wanted to get to just step into the space. And man, I wasn't finding anything to meet our budget unless it was secondhand off of a used website like um, uh, Facebook Marketplace or an offers up where I could really lowball somebody based off of their listing. I couldn't even get away with something on eBay because the prices were significantly higher. So I'm not going to show you the direct listing for it, but I will show you the exact card that we ended up getting. And that is this one right here, the GTX 1660 Ti Ventist from MSI. I'm excited. This is actually my first one. I've never actually had this one. Uh, this one has a boost clock and memory speed of 1830. It's six gigs, which is awesome. We can mine Ethereum on it right now and any other of these larger DAG file um, algorithms. And uh, other than that, great card. Uh, looks good from the way that I got it. So just under $500 with a little bit of hunting and pecking on used websites locally, we were able to go ahead and build out the structure that I would need for a GPU mining rig. Now, I could save some money here on a few things. 
I could go with a motherboard that literally only has one PCI slot on it. I could go with a lower CPU. I could go with um, even a lower power supply. The power supply that we went with, I actually skipped over, I apologize, is this EVGA 460 watt power supply. Um, $43 is like perfect. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even going to hit a hundred Watts on the GPU alone. So that that's why I picked this one. Now I could go with even lower items to support one graphics card, but I wanted to keep in, I wanted to kind of split it 50 50 on items to get me by with one graphics cards and items to prep me for expansion. The motherboard prepping me for expansion. It's got those six PCI slots on it. The frame prepping me for expansion can support six to eight GPUs on it. Um, you know, the riser going to need some more if I continue to grow this, this setup. So I wanted to kind of split it 50, 50. I didn't want to completely go just into one setup because you got to remember, like if I went with a very even smaller, minimal setup, uh, I would have had to spend a significant amount of supporting hardware to go to graphics card two and graphics card three. So this setup here at least gets my foot in the door. And if I want to go to a second graphics card, I just have to keep an eye on my power supply uh, and get another riser and then get that second graphics card. So $500 starter crypto mining rig, not too, too bad. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. So we ordered all the parts tonight for our $500 starter crypto mining rig. In our next video, we will be going ahead and building that rig step by step with a beginner mentality. To be notified when the next video drops with that guide, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You'll get a notification directly sent to you when I drop the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. What that will do is actually tell YouTube to go ahead and recommend this to other beginner miners just like you. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.